Russian troops use century-old weapons in attacks on Ukrainian positions. The Russian forces, the so-called Second Army of the World, are storming Ukrainian positions with weapons dating back to the previous century, the Ukrainian journalist Yuri Butusov reported on Telegram. At least one of the eliminated soldiers who was not armed with the standard Kalashnikov rifle, the primary weapon of the Russian armed forces, but rather with a Mosin Nagant three-line rifle, the photos show 30 enemies were liquidated in the attack, Butusov said. Most strikingly, one of the fallen attackers wielded a Mosin Nagant rifle in use since 1891. Known as the Mosinka, this firearm served in the Russian army during the Russian-Japanese War of 1904 to 1905 and both world wars. The Russian armed forces are deploying weapons that truly have no modern equivalents. Russia has halted its disposal of Soviet-era weapons since invading Ukraine. Earlier Russian army contractors on the battlefield told that mothballed Soviet equipment is making it to the front lines in large quantities in poor condition due to improper storage. Russian authorities have not spoken publicly about whether arms disposal deals have been classified since 2022. Recall in the past year, Moscow has turned increasingly to the use of Soviet glide bombs. These weapons have allowed it to conserve its inadequate inventory of air-launched missiles and to minimize the use of free-fall iron bombs that would expose the valuable pilots to great risk. As Russia's wider war on Ukraine grinds into its third year, three main dynamics are shaping the battlefield. First, Russia is fully mobilized politically, industrially and militarily. But this mobilization is depleting resources the Kremlin can't renew. Most importantly, stocks of old, Cold War vintage weapons. In other words, Russia is strong but fragile. Second, Ukraine is mobilizing too, but it still relies on foreign aid to meet urgent financial and military needs, and Russia-friendly Republicans in the US House of Representatives are withholding a decisive portion of that aid. Third, Ukrainian tactics are superior to Russian tactics, helping Ukrainian formations to defeat much larger Russian formations. But tactics are irrelevant when and where Ukrainian forces simply run out of ammunition.